What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to just have a uh, casual talk. Maybe it starts casual, then maybe it gets a little bit more spicy as the video goes on. But I want to do something a little bit different and talk about just my viewpoint or my opinions on Twitter console wars. And I don't know if I'll end up posting uh, certain tweets, stuff like that. I really, I mean, the goal of this is to not upset anybody too bad, right? But to make my standpoint very, very clear. I thought this would be a fun uh, side kind of thing to do, right? Uh, news is a little not a, not as uh, filled as it has been the ba- uh, the past like month, month and a half, so I thought doing something different would kind of be fun. So let, let's just jump in. So basically, I, I guess my main um, point that I want to make in this video, and something you should know about me immediately, this is the first time you've watched me, or this is the first time you're seeing my face. I have shown it a couple times in the past, but welcome in, welcome in, take a seat. No, I um, I play games, I, and, and that should be an obvious thing. I play games, but I, I love games. I love all kinds of games, and more importantly, even though I think that is the most important thing, more importantly, I will play games wherever they are. You know what I mean? I'm not going to buy five versions of the same game, right? Some games that I, I'm, I'm more willing to spend money with than others. I bought the original Life is Strange game a couple different times, but I, I play games no matter uh, where they come out. So if a good game comes out and it's only on PC, that one maybe is the exception because I, I, I'm, I'm building I'm, I'm building up money, I should say, to get a very high-end PC so that will become a reality. But, you know, if a game comes out on Xbox, I, I will play it. I have an Xbox or I would have gotten it in the past and I would play it. PlayStation, same thing. Nintendo Switch, same thing all of this stuff right if there's a good game out there and even like among us like i had to be part of that that train i was part of the among us train i you know i my computer could run it and i i I jumped in so i play games no matter what it just and i guess and no matter what and no matter where the thing that just frustrates me so much about the world but mainly twitter right is just negativity now i'm not telling you guys something you don't know i try you know i promote my twitter i think we have a lot of fun over on twitter i'm very engaged on twitter talking to pretty much everybody that that asks me or replies to my tweet i try to to like and you know reply to all of theirs i really do want to make it a place where we can be a really nice community and i think we we have a really good community with that being said i'm not an idiot i know twitter is just just a just a pool of negativity you go there to die you go there to read just the worst possible Possible people, the worst possible takes both you know on both sides of any spectrum that you can imagine. That's why you go to Twitter. Okay, it's awful. It's awful in that way, and um, it, it obviously shows up in YouTube comments. It obviously shows up on Twitter. But anytime anything happens regarding one or the other console, and I guess you know I mentioned Switch, I mentioned PC. I guess we're really talking about Xbox versus PlayStation. It's the most fiery, you know, spicy of the of all of the console wars, you know, of all time. It's just it, it's. It's, I would say, laughable, but it's not really funny. In fact, it just makes me upset. I always get so wor- – not really worried, but I, I'm always aware anytime I make a video talking too positively on something Microsoft did or Sony did or an acquisition, right, somebody buying somebody, stuff like that, I always know there's going to be people in the comments that just say something stupid. And I and I, mean, I will call that out, right? I think, my, I think uh, the people that watch my videos are very smart, most of them, almost all of them, right? But there are just a couple people that like to poke the bear. And the bear, not even meaning me, is the, the community, you know what I mean? To just say like, oh, you know, just dunking on one or the other when it's not necessary or making some sort of stupid comment versus one or the other. Like, why can't we just enjoy games? That's the thing as I've gotten older and I've said it before. I mean, I used to I was never like that. But, you know, when I was like a teenager, I and I still am more like Sony because I, like I have a PS5. I prefer PlayStation, but it's just kind of the console I've had the longest. I, I jumped in it. I had a PS2. I wasn't really that much of a gamer. PS3 was when I like officially jumped in like full time, let's let, let's say. And I had to debate, do I get a 360 or do I get a PS3? And I got the PS3. But it's not like, again, like I, I my friend had Xbox. I played a ton of games that were exclusive over at his house. You know what I mean? I, I had an Xbox One, or I still have one, so all of this stuff, you know, it doesn't really matter, but I just can't imagine people being so, and really is what it is, it's closed-mindedness, right, they're, they're, they're being closed-minded where they can't, like, I get maybe you can't afford, you can only afford one or the other console, but I mean, just the, the attacks or stuff like that is not really necessary. Another thing, too, to keep in mind is we should never really be glorifying. I know people do look to Sony as, like, these god figures. People look look to Microsoft. I mean, I see it every 
single day. Phil Spencer is like our Lord and Savior. Now, I will say, I love Shuhei Yoshida, right? I love Sean Layden. I think he was great. So there's people on PlayStation 2 that I really, really like, right? I, I saw, I mean, I get it in a way, but at the, but you do, you can say that stuff and I think still have things to say. I mean, I've been very, for people calling me Sony fanboy as much as I have been called, I've been more critical of Sony than anybody, than, than Microsoft. Now, I am critical of Microsoft quite often as well, but Sony, I, the last year, year and a half, I've been very critical of them. I, I mean, my, my thing is, I'm going to call it out when it happens, no matter, you know, who it, you know, I guess who it impacts or which company it is. And uh, in terms of the games, you know, like I've, we talked about it before, I don't want a monopoly. I don't want Microsoft owning 500 teams and stuff like that. I, I think that's stupid. I think that's recipe for a failure in a lot of different ways. But, you know, in terms of fairness and stuff like that, they got to do what they got to do. And uh, I'm going to play games where they are. You know, I'm, I'm interested in the game 12 Minutes, which is an Xbox, and that's a small game, but it's an Xbox exclusive. I mean, no matter what happened with that game, I would have found a way to play it. It comes out in August, so it's it's technically in the future. It's not really uh, past tense, but I mean, yeah, it's it's a, I, you know, I don't have a direct thing that we're really talking about in this video, right? It's kind of just me rambling, but that's, <laughs> that's kind of just how I feel in my head. Every day and again i can't really I'm, I'm not giving specific examples but just just go on twitter if, if you guys haven't already and brace for impact because it's crazy it's it's a uh, it's insane it's insane because every day you see people just going at each other it's more funny when uh, like so i see it kind of on uh like, like the well i don't even know how i'm trying to say it i see like the opening level of it very rarely do i try to like dive in and really see what these people are saying because most times they say absolutely nothing i mean i do notice it it ends up just boiling down to name calling it boils it down to it's either name calling or if you go down deep enough it's just them saying oh i hate all of these games and it's like well you can have those opinions but like i've seen people uh let's just pick it like for ghost of tsushima or like the last of us or stuff like that well let's do ghost of tsushima like you'll have people that literally just say like oh Sucker Punch is trash. Ghost of Tsushima is trash. And that's all they can really say. And it, it, I guess it's to defend Microsoft. And it's probably because a Sony person said something. You know, But it just happens. It just it naturally occurs where Sony people, they call out something with Xbox. And then, you know, Microsoft. And then those fans, you know, attack back. Or the other way around. And it ends up, again, just... It, it, the thing is, the thing is, you can call them out. I've called out quality of Sony games. I've called out Sony lying all of that stuff, I've called it out. and I, But I think I've given reasons, and I think I've uh, said very loud and very cl as clearly as I personally can. You, you know I like to talk a lot. You know I get sidetracked in my own. That's just who I am. I, I, I can't change. I've been doing it for so long. I, I truly can't. But I try to give it to you guys straight, and I and I don't change my, you know, I don't I don't say, oh, this is kind of a negative thing that people don't really like. In terms of like my view, like if if I like a game and people say, no, the game's horrible, 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 I'm not gonna change because that person says it. You know what I mean? So I try to stick with my gun. So at least you know with me, you're getting it straight. And I've called out Microsoft, and, and and again, you can do that. You can say, well, Microsoft hasn't had many games in the last four or five years, but like it kind of just ends there. You don't need to name call. You don't need to say, uh, I I don't even know what you. You know, you don't have to say all of the games that they ha that have happened have been just disastrous and horrible, right? You, I mean, it doesn't really, th that's not really necessary. And it's not even necessary in the fact that it's true and you don't have to say it. No, I mean, uh, it's just your opinion. But again, it's Twitter. It's And it's not even, I know I maybe titled this Twitter and stuff like that or the thumbnail. I am talking about just in general because you see with my comments and I've, um, you know, I've said it before. I do get upset when people, and I, and I don't think a lot of the people that start it are necessarily subscribers to the channel. I think they're kind of just like people that come in and come out. I, I, I hate it. I hate it when I talk about something too positive or too negative for either of the companies. And then just, you know, a couple times in the comments, they'll start just a console war. I don't, I don't know. I, I just, uh, you know, love games, love games, find games that you like, and then play them. And if, you know, if, if it's not all on one console, that's okay. You know, again, these guys are not your overlords. Um, you do not need to bow down to PlayStation or Shuhei. And I know Sh Shuhei is not even, you know, Jim Ryan, I guess, which he doesn't even have the greatest reputation from the community. And then you have Xbox. Obviously, you know, Phil Spencer is gaining a lot of traction. But again, like, I'm not going to kiss his feet, you know, stuff like that. Like, they make mistakes at the same time. Like, I play their games. I don't really think um, you don't really need to get into a massive fight about it. But it's always about victories online. I get that. But I just don't know why it's become. And I feel like it's a newer thing. Or maybe it always has been. And it's just the internet has like intensified. Because now you have a place to say it all. 
I don't know why we massively root for like one company to dominate the other company or one company to be so amazing because there's so much for like us to play. Like, yeah, they are more personable than some companies are. Let's say, you know, there, there's many corporations out there or billionaires out there in the world that are literally kind of like just robotic. They don't have personality. They're like 95 years old. They're going to die, but they just never seem to die. Stuff like that. It's not like that. It's a little bit better than that, but still, as I always say, they're in it for money. Every, all these corporations are in it for money. That's why people do get mad with like Sony with like a Days Gone when they cancel it or something like that. It's because, well, they ultimately, you know, if they were doing it just for us, it would be very different. If Microsoft was doing it just for us, it would be very different. I guess Microsoft probably only looks like they're doing it more because they make infinite amount of money through everything not xbox and they're able to pay for the ecosystem that is game pass which is a phenomenal deal but if it was only game pass and microsoft didn't have the the trillions of dollars or how you know obviously maybe not trillion the, like billions and billions and billions of just cash on hand that they have if they didn't have that and they just did game pass you can bet your bottom dollar that would not be what they would do because it literally is something that doesn't make them money to continue that it maybe eventually will but they would never have been able to get that off the ground so you can you can point out things for either of them see i do that and I, i'm not a fanboy of either of them i really don't th- i mean i lean more towards or i prefer something more maybe but I'm really, I, I'm not pro one or the other as much as people uh, think I am, okay? So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you thought this was a, a, a different kind of video. I can definitely do more of these. July is a dead month, so uh, I'll be looking for more of these videos, and you can expect more of these as the month goes on. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon, leave a like. Again, would greatly help me out. If you want to brave the wilderness and follow me over on Twitter, again, I think we've we've created a nice little space in Twitter myself. Personally, I, I like to say that, but podcast now 15 is my Twitter handle. Link is in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you for watching. Really do appreciate it. Please don't start stupid console wars in the comments. I hope to see you all on the next video.